Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy meal that you can make in your Instant Pot. Hey again everybody, today I'm going to show you a really easy, quick meal that I found to make in the Instant Pot. We've made this before and really, really enjoyed it. It's called cream cheese chicken. It takes minimal ingredients and it's basically just a dump and go meal. So let me show you the ingredients we're gonna use today. We're gonna use chicken thighs. It calls for chicken breasts. We like chicken thighs. So I'm gonna use chicken thighs. I have about one, little over one and a half pounds of chicken thighs. We're gonna use eight ounces of cream cheese. 15 ounce can of black beans, a 15 ounce can of corn, a 10 ounce can of Rotel diced tomatoes, and then it doesn't call for any seasonings, but what I'm gonna season it with is just black pepper, salt, and onion powder, and I'm just gonna do that to taste. Let me get our ingredients ready. I need to drain our canned ingredients, and then we'll sh I'll show you how easy this is to make. So I've got all of our ingredients ready to go. As you saw, I drained the corn, I drained and rinsed the black beans. I did not drain the Rotel, that's the only thing I didn't drain. And I've got our chicken thighs ready to go. Usually I get boneless chicken thighs, but for some reason I must have just picked up a packet with the bones, which that's fine. We'll be able to debone this. We're ready to put everything in the pressure cooker. First thing I'm gonna do, and what I always do, is spray the bottom with some coconut oil just to help keep stuff from sticking. And all we're gonna do is place everything in the Instant Pot, with the exception of the cream cheese. We're gonna include that in the end but I do have it sitting out so it can get softened. So let's add everything into the Instant Pot. I'm gonna add our chicken thighs first. Then we'll just dump all the rest of our ingredients in. I love this recipe because it's just so simple. <laughs> There's not a lot of stuff you gotta do for it. Dump and go, I love it. So I've got all the ingredients. Now I'm just gonna season it to taste with some pepper and you can always add more seasoning once it's done cooking if it's not enough but just do it to your tastes a little bit of salt and some onion powder that's all you got to do we're going to close it up we're going to make sure our vent is put on ceiling and then we are going to cook this on manual high pressure for 15 minutes It'll take a little bit for our Instant Pot to come to pressure. Once it does, it's gonna cook for 15 minutes, then we're gonna do a quick release. Then I'll show you where we go from there. All right, so our 15 minutes just finished. I am gonna do a quick release on our Instant Pot. So I always make sure to put a washcloth over the valve where the steam is gonna come out just so it doesn't blast up into the sleeper part here. So let's do that. And it'll take just a few minutes for that to release all the pressure. Once the pressure is released, we're gonna remove our chicken and we're gonna debone it and shred it. Our stem has dropped, meaning it's safe to open the Instant Pot. There's always condensation on the lid, so I always just try to shake that off before I set it on the little handle there. I'm gonna just use my spatula and pull my chicken out. Try to get it out without taking a bunch of the other, the corn and beans and stuff with it. And I know I've got three pieces of chicken in here. Of course, if you use chicken breast or chicken thighs without the bone, you won't have to debone it, but usually that's what I get. I just, I think I just picked that up and didn't realize it had bones, but it's okay. It still tastes the same. So I'm just gonna take two forks and I'm just gonna start shredding my chicken. And be careful, because of course your chicken's gonna be really hot. 
got my chicken all shredded up. This is what I'm left with. Now I did use a little less than what the recipe called for, which by the way, I will leave the full recipe linked down in the description. If you all want to make this, you can check that out. But we're going to go ahead and add this back into the Instant Pot. And then this is where our cream cheese comes in. We're going to take our eight ounces of cream cheese and I've had this sitting out for a little while now to soften up a bit just so it can kind of melt a little quicker. But we're going to put the whole eight ounces in there. And what I'm going to do is I am going to turn the Instant Pot on saute mode just so I can get it warmed back up and get the cream cheese melted. And we're basically just going to mix everything together until our cream cheese is all melted. I will show you the finished product once I have that all done. All right, guys, this is the finished product. After the cream cheese melted, I took the inside pot out of the Instant Pot, which is one of the great features I love about the Instant Pot, and let this sit for about 10 minutes. You wanna let it sit just so it'll thicken up a bit. The longer you let it sit, the thicker it should get. Also, leftovers after the next day, it usually is thickened up a bit too. So what I've done is I've just heated us up some cauliflower rice. You can eat this as is. You can put it over rice. I'm putting it over cauliflower rice. It's really good any way you want to do it. So we're just going to serve us some of this up here. Look at that. Yummy. There you go guys, a quick and easy Instant Pot meal, cream cheese chicken. We really enjoy it, it's very tasty. Again, I'll leave the recipe down below if you wanna check it out. Leave me a comment if you think you're going to be making this or if you do make it, come back and let me know how you liked it. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Give me my food. <laughs> <laughs> There's me, I just so, so, so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> Crafty got some moves. <laughs>